What a beautiful song. I'm here to teach it to you guys today. We're looking at the advanced arrangement of If the World Was Ending. Such a sweet, sad, beautiful progression. I'm gonna break down not only that left hand chord progression, but also the right hand melody. This is gonna be the arrangement that we're looking at today. All right, so right out of the gate, we can see this is advanced, and that means we've got things like octaves in the right hand, we've got fast syncopated rhythms, we've got left hand chord shapes that span octaves, also change within those octave shapes. You'll see what I mean, we're gonna get into all that and more. Let's jump in now. So right out of the gate, we can see that the key signature is, well, it's a complicated one, five flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Those are all in the key signature. That tells us we're in the key of D flat major or B flat minor. Remember, every major key has a related minor key or a relative minor key that shares the same key signature. So we're in the key of D flat major or B flat minor here. The key thing to remember is five flats in notation. Now I wanna cover this off here with both hands together on screen. We're looking at the grand staff and I'm gonna walk through this horizontally here. We're not going to do right hand, left hand separately in this video, but of course I will remind you that at any point, if this is moving too fast or if this is too difficult for you, please pause the video, work this stuff out slower, work it out one hand at a time, whatever you got to do to get this stuff down. I'm going to keep the momentum moving in this video though, so let's look at hands together right out of the gate. The thing I love most about this section, the pre-chorus of the song, is the chord progression that we see right in that first measure. The first two measures to be precise. We have B flat minor. We have an A flat major chord in first inversion. Then we go to D flat major. It's just such a pretty progression, such nice voice leading. Then here, the right hand goes up, but the left hand actually is gonna jump down. Then we resolve here. We gotta look at that again. This is such a nice progression. B flat minor, and here as it's voiced in this arrangement, we have B flat and F in the left hand. We have two finger on D flat in the right hand. We do two of these in the right hand, right? Then it moves on. Right hand thumb's gonna come under now. All right, right hand three on A flat. We're continuing moving up. Left hand here jumping down. F and D flat. And in the next measure, we resolve to the four chord here in this key, G flat major. Left hand then is gonna hold while the right hand does this little riff. And this is a nice vocal melody part here. It goes like this. So this is all outlining this scale right here. B flat minor pentatonic. Okay, this is all actually outlining a scale. This melody here in this measure outlines the B flat minor pentatonic scale. B flat, D flat, E flat, F, A flat, B flat. Four finger on B flat, three on A flat, thumb on F, and then quickly third finger over to E flat. And we're gonna open up our hand into this new position. Then just as quickly, two finger on D flat, we're gonna end it with thumb on B flat, so we're gonna slide our hand back towards the back of the keys to comfortably hit that B flat with our thumb. One more time. Four, three, one, three, two, two, three, one. All right, now, in the next measure, we're gonna repeat the same melodic idea, but arrangement-wise, we're adding an extra layer. We're gonna start each melodic note with an octave instead of just a single note. Let me show you. All right, just like we did here earlier. This time, we're doing it same note, but with an octave higher, but only on the first rhythm, okay? Then the second one, it's just single note again. Now, not only are we doing that, the left hand is also getting beefed up a bit here. 
Left hand now is playing octave shapes as well. And I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. Here we go, B flat minor chord, We've got B flat octaves. In the middle, we have an F. So there's our B flat minor chord. Now here, we're gonna move up to an A flat over C. So we have octaves on the outsides of the chord, but this time we're playing a middle note of the root. So the shape changes a bit from here to here. Now, moving up to the next chord, we're actually going to keep this middle note the same. We're going to slide our hand back so our pinky and thumb can play D flats. All right, so from the top, we go B flat minor, moving up to C's with an A flat in the middle, keeping the A flat, moving our outer notes up to D flat. Now, from here, we're going to jump down to octave F's. Your second finger is going to land on a D flat. And then just like before, when we move into this next chord, our middle note stays the same. Our outer notes move up to the black key. In this case, it's a G flat major chord. So let's take a look at that all one more time. From the beginning in the left hand, we have this. And then what we have in the second phrase, same progression, same idea, but now octave shapes looks like this. All right, so when you're ready, let's put the hands together. And of course, I'll encourage you guys once more to take it slow here. Rewind and play back with me at any section in this video as many times as it takes for you to actually feel comfortable with this stuff. Not like you're barely hanging on and you wanna just race to the, to the finish line, right? We gotta get this stuff feeling good at every stage of the way and that requires patience, so take your time. Having said that, when you're ready, let's put the hands together now and we're gonna do it at a slow tempo. Then we'll speed things up again when we're feeling comfortable. Now, octaves in the right, here we go. Notice we have that pickup note at the very end, that final D flat, that of course is the pickup into the next section, which is the chorus. As you know, in this video, we're just doing the pre-chorus, but let me take a second to tell you about the Playground Sessions Interactive app. If you tap this card above, you can learn more about how to start a free trial, 30 days, no strings attached. The app grades you as you play. It also has every song in its entirety, not just one section. We also have songs in different difficulty levels. So if this advanced level of If the World is Ending is too hard for you today, well, we've got it in the intermediate level as well as the rookie level for all you beginners out there. We've got a ton of different songs by different artists and in all genres, so you're definitely gonna wanna check out the app if you wanna learn piano and have fun while you're learning, all right? It's fun here on YouTube, but we get in depth in the app, and again, the app grades you as you play. That's pretty invaluable. So take a look at the free trial. I hope you guys will enjoy the app. In the meantime, let's speed things up here, hands together on this beautiful progression. All right, there we have it, my friends. That's a wrap for today. If the world was ending, now you got that pre-chorus down. I encourage you to check out the app if you wanna learn the next section or another song in this vein or another song in a completely different genre. Once again, the app has it all. Tap this card above that says, what are you waiting for? If you haven't started that free trial yet, I'll see you guys soon for the next lesson. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Phil. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. And be sure to check out the Playground Sessions interactive app. It was co-created by music legend Quincy Jones. Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs.